Hi everyone and welcome to the fourth week. Uh, it has been already a month as we were sewing together. Hopefully you can already see some improvements in your work. And uh, in today's fourth class, I will be covering another very essential topic. Uh, so I will explain you different types of seam, which is actually very interesting because we do not pay attention on this, but it really influences the final work. And especially when you design, you have to think about these details in advance, right? So uh, before we jump to practicing, of course, I will give you some theory and uh, understanding of uh, like what different finish seams exist. And of course, meanwhile, we go through theory. I want to make a small, like very short quiz because I want to make sure that every of you uh, remember the measurements and uh, is good, like by now is good with uh, working with a ruler and uh, understand how much is half inch, how much is eighth of inch. Because especially when you do, uh, especially in the exercise, when we will be sewing the different types of seams, measurements are very important. Seams are the basic element of construction and they are formed when two or more pieces of material are sewn together. We have already spoke about uh, seam when we talk uh, about seam allowance. And uh, for example, on this example, you can clearly see that we are left with some seam allowance and uh, in the middle is the stitch line, but altogether we call it seam finish because uh, you when you attach pieces of your garment you have to think depending on the area how to attach them together in other words what seam finish to use right now i have uh, four most common way to finish the seams and you can see that uh, they're really different from each other and it really depends on fabric you choose, on your design, on usage of the garment and uh, washing requirements for the garment. Right now I want to show you how seams are finished on real examples on the clothes. But before I do it, because I will be naming the seams, that's why I will go briefly through the name of each seam. For example, uh, the name of this seam is... Uh, well, this is a basic seam and there is another one which is also considered as basic seam. But the only difference between these two is this one is serge finished and this is clean finish. If I bring it close, you can see that the edge is surged, which helps, uh, the f like, which helps fabric from reveling. And in this case, we do not have a serger. That's why we use the method clean finish. And then you attach two pieces together. Another example is this one. It's, uh, it's called French seam. And uh, there is no serging, nothing. But the trick is that uh, the edge is hidden inside. So you you don't see anything it's very clean and usually french seam method is used for a more expensive clothes and uh, for transparent garments this one is a flat felt seam and uh, i'm pretty sure everyone have already seen this seam finish it's commonly used for jeans Here is a blouse, and if I turn wrong side out, you see that depending on the area, different seam finish is used. And uh, if we take a look at the side seam, here is the side seam. This is the seam finish used for this blouse. 
and this is French seam, as you remember I explained earlier. And uh, here's the sample. Remember I said usually used for like high-end garments, and surprisingly for this blouse they used uh, this uh, method here on the side seam. Here I have another example. These are jeans, and uh, if I take a look at the inner seam, so let me open like this. This is the inner seam. And uh, as I earlier showed you the example, it's called flat felt seam. And uh, it's really very common for jeans because like thanks to this seam, you know, these areas are usually uh, very easy to rip. And this seam prevents uh, the stitch to open when, when you wear it very often. And the last example, I have one more uh, pair of pants. And for example, here when I turn, again, this is the side seam of, uh, of my pants. And if I turn right side, sorry, wrong side out, you can see basic seam with serge finish. You can see that each side is serge and then they are attached together. Before we start practice and uh, do different types of seam finish, as I promised, I want to organize a small quiz and uh, let you to remember how much is uh, the measurements because measurements are very important when you special work with seam allowance and uh, seam finishes. So basically, uh, during uh, sewing exercise, we will use uh, four measurements, which is half inch, three eight, one eight, and one sixteen. I want you to spend some time and figure out how much it is. If you forgot, don't worry. Uh, right now, I will explain you again. So half inch is, if you have the same ruler or you have similar one, uh, I believe every ruler has a uh, number one, right? So from here till here is one inch. And uh, in the middle, you can see another line showing that it's the middle of one inch. It means that distance from here till here is half inch. Okay, let's go to the next one, 3 8. We know that 0 starts here and uh, 3 8 is. Because on my ruler you can see that this 1 inch is actually divided into many squares. And the 1 square, if I count every square, I know that there are 8 of them which means I need only 3 out of 8. So if I count 1 square, 2, 3, here, will be 3. It means that from here to here is 3, 8. Now, 1, 8. As you remember, uh, I said that 1 square is 1, 8. So from here to here is 1 8. And 1 16 is the smallest measurements on the ruler. If you don't have uh, any mark on 1 16, basically what you do, you divide 1 8 into half and that will be 1 16. But on my ruler, I know that every line Every this horizontal line is 1 16. And if I count them down, I know there are 16 of them. Which means from here to here, this distance is 1 16. For today's exercises, we will be practicing to do basic seams. That's why it was important to remind you these measurements again. These are two 
types of scene finish we will be practicing today. And for example, for this one, we need to know how much is half inch. For this one, we need to know how much is half inch, how much is 3 8, how much is 1 8, and 1 16. For the sewing practice, try to find a solid color plain fabric because uh, I will be making marks on the fabric and uh, you will need to make marks too in order to make sure that measurements are precise. I want you to cut four rectangular pieces. The height is 10 inches and uh, the width is 4 inches. So basically this is the fabric I will be working with and I will measure 10 inches up and uh, the width will be 4 inches. Before we start uh, the exercise, I advise you to iron the pieces and especially for this, uh, for sewing today, you will need to keep uh, the iron on the side. So I have here my iron and uh, through the process of sewing, you will see me ironing very often. First sample we'll be working on is a basic seam surging finish. If you do not have surgery at home, then uh, skip the step and just do the next step but uh, I know also some domestic sewing machines have uh, the stitch line reminding a uh, reminding surging line so if you have something on your machine that does similar way then try doing it but if you don't have uh, this type of stitch line on your sewing machine either then just skip the step and uh, do the next step after this to do this sample, first step is we will take our two pieces and serge one side of each piece. Next step will be to put right side on the right side like this, pin it, and then once we uh, put right side on right side, we will make a stitch line on the wrong side. And the seam allowance is half inch. And once we join the two pieces, we'll press the seam allowance open. Let's get started. The next uh, sample we'll be doing is a basic seam clean finish. It's for the for those cases when you do not have a surging machine, and in order to prevent the edge from raveling, you make an additional stitch line and hide the edge inside. To 
to do this sample, uh, our first step will be, uh, once we take our two rectangles, two pieces, we need to fold on each side of each piece one eight. Once you fold it, you need to press it because we want to make sure it stays flat. So uh, you will see me taking an iron and pressing one eight. After that, we need to make a stitch line uh, to fix this fold to the piece. So it will look like this. 116 is really tiny measurement. That's why try to make it like to be very slow in order to get 116, the stitch line very close to the fold. Once we're done with the second step, we will need to attach two pieces together. So uh, we will put the right side to the right side and do all sewing on the wrong side. And using three eight seam allowance, we will join two pieces together. The next step will be to press seam allowance. I want to clarify why we use three eight here, because if we take, if you pay attention on the first step, we fold one eight. It means that if we sum one eight and 3 8 so which is 1 8 plus 3 8 we will get half inch that's why we use 3 8 measurements here because already here in the fold we have another 1 8 which makes half inch seam allowance as we need to measure 1 8 remember this square here this is 1 8 and to simplify uh, during pressing it I will draw a line and when I be pressing you will see how I will fold exactly on the 1 8 line We folded a 1 8 and now we need to make a stitch line 1 16 from the fold line. I advise you to draw a line 1 16. This way it will be easier for you through the sewing. The side where you see the edge, this is wrong side. And the clean one is the right side. And when we will be joining these two pieces together, we uh, put right side on the right side and make sure that wrong side with the edge is outside. And following the 3 8 measurement, we will join these two pieces. Again, 3 8 is uh, one square. Is one square, two squares, three squares.
here are both samples. Both of them are basic seams. The only difference is one is serge finish, another one is clean finish. So when you look inside, you can see the difference, but outside they are the same. I also want to remind you, I hope you didn't forget to do back tack. I did back tack at the beginning and at the end, the same here. Beginning and end. Also, I have back tacks here. This is end of our class. Thank you for joining and hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Um, again, if you have any questions about sewing or about the class or about theory, I will see you on Wednesday at 1 p.m. on Facebook. And uh, also I want to remind that uh, whatever exercises or like any practice that you do in sewing, I'm always looking forward to see your works that's why feel free to share with me like post the pictures show me what you do and i'm happy to see the progress that you make together with me all right so thank you for joining again and i'll see you in a week bye bye